Hey guys, welcome to You Fix It Garage, where it's always my goal to help you save money by doing things yourself. My name's Rusty, we're back out here in the shop today, and I'm gonna be showing you some more colors that you can achieve on a PMAG. If you watched my last video that I uploaded, you uh, saw that I've been able to achieve seven very distinct colors uh, on a PMAG using a fiber laser. Uh, I showed you in that video how to do uh, the light tan, and if you missed that video, check the link in the description. You can go back and watch it. I show all the settings that I use on this 50 watt uh, JPT laser with 175 millimeter lens. So today I'm going to show you two more colors, which is going to be a dark tan and a light gray. And then we're going to combine all three of those colors into one image. And I'm going to show you how you can kind of up your game with your artwork on your PMAGs when you start combining colors. So if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications when I upload the settings for the rest of these colors, hit the bell icon. And then finally, if you just want to get started marking today and you don't want to wait on all those videos to come out, you can head on over to the link to my Etsy store in the description. And for less than a dollar a piece, you can download all of these, import them into your Lightburn program, and start marking magazines today. So let's head on over here to the program. I'm going to show you my setup. I'm going to show you the settings for those two colors and then we're gonna mark a mag. Here we are in Lightburn, and I've already got the artwork imported in here, and I've got the colors assigned, and I'm just gonna go through the settings for you so that we'll make this pretty short and quick. Like I said, this is gonna be a multi-color uh, etching on this PMAG, and so we're gonna be using three different colors. You can see down here, I've got my library opened up. These are the colors that I've been able to achieve, um, and today I've already shown you the light tan in the other video. Today I'm going to show you dark tan and light gray. So this blue color right here around the perimeter is the uh, light gray. The yellow is going to be light tan and this red is going to be the dark tan. So let's go to these settings. Like I said I've already shown you the light tan so let's do the blue which is going to be the light gray. So to achieve a light gray and uh, I just want to reiterate, my settings are for a 50 watt JPT with a 175 millimeter lens. You'll have to adjust this accordingly based on your laser's power and lens settings, but uh, you should be able to get it close. There's some ways to convert that uh, over. So for me, I need a speed of 6,000 and that's in millimeters per second, a frequency of 50, a max power of 14%, um, and then we're going to do bi-directional fill and crosshatch, line interval of 0 0.08, scan angle of 45, and one pass. And that is going to get us the light gray color on the magazine. Okay, so then let's go to the uh, dark tan, which is going to be this red right here. So dark tan is going to be a speed of 3,800 millimeters per second, a power of 35%. Frequency of 50. The line interval on it is going to change to 0 0.075. Um, you're going to do bidirectional fill again and crosshatch and a 45 degree scan angle and one pass. All right, and so that has the different uh, settings in here. You have to break your artwork up if you're going to make this different colors, obviously. So you're going to need different pieces um, for your artwork. But once you achieve that and once you have this into your library, you can just select a color um, and then pick, let's say dark tan, hit assign, and that will assign it to there. So let's go over to the laser and I'm gonna show you what this looks like on a magazine. I've got the laser on the bed. I've already focused it out. Uh, we'll go in here and frame this thing just to make sure that we've got it where we want it. Looks like it might've slid just a little bit but I think that's pretty good. And this thing is going to etch really, really fast. So here we go. turn the laser off so it's not interfering and you guys can see just that quick um, put a logo on the mag and I think it looks pretty good 
the light gray is such a thin line it's hard to tell if i'd done one of these big colors here you'd be able to distinguish it a lot better but uh, when you do it on your uh, magazines you'll see that that's a very distinctly different color so there you go that covers two more colors of the seven that i've been able to achieve on this laser uh, if you missed the first video which was light tan check out the link in the description and you can go get the settings for it this video covered the dark tan and the light gray and in future videos i'll cover the other colors or like i said at the beginning if you'd like to just get all seven colors and start etching today you can head over to the link in my description in the description for my etsy store for less than a dollar a piece you can download all of them and you'll be set up and running i'm going to give this magazine away to one of you, the first 100 people who comment on this video, I'll be doing a drawing and I will mail this magazine out to one of you. It's got the Texas logo on it that we just etched. And on the other side, it has the American flag, we the people, on the other side. So I'll be sending it out to you. So put a comment down there. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you for watching.